street as soon as possible. Now, police believe the suspect may have known the victims. Investigators are looking for a man in his mid-20s, around 5 foot 10 with a heavy build, weighing around 220 pounds. Police are warning he could be armed. If you know where he is, you should call Detroit Police or Crime Stoppers. That number 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Fully vaccinated Michiganders can now ditch their masks in most places for the first time in nearly a year. It's a big day. The new mask guidelines took effect just an hour ago. Governor Whitmer announced the changes yesterday after the CDC released its own new guidance for fully vaccinated Americans. Here in Michigan, no masks are required outside whether you've been vaccinated or not. Inside, people who are fully vaccinated can now go without their masks in most places. People who are not fully vaccinated should continue to wear masks inside. Some businesses are also still requiring masks for workers and customers inside, including Meyer, Kroger and all three Detroit casinos. Trader Joe's was one of the first major chains to drop its mask requirement for those who are fully vaccinated. Costco then followed, but says it ultimately comes down to local mandates. We are learning more about Governor Whitmer's trip to Florida to visit her sick father back in March. That trip has been under heavy scrutiny. Many state Republicans accuse the governor of a double standard for urging others not to travel during the pandemic. Governor Whitmer first refused to say who paid for that trip, but insisted it wasn't taxpayers. Her office is now saying the round trip charter flight was paid for from a fund used for travel not covered by tax dollars. The total cost was over $27,000, with Whitmer personally paying $855 for the flight. It's not allowed. You can't use a 501c4 for personal reasons. We would like a full investigation from the IRS, and we would like the governor to clarify, even before that investigation's over, what C4 purpose she had to use that plane for. It probably would have been better in the beginning to disclose as much of this as possible, given that the wolves have been at the doors for a long time. In a memo to senior staff, Whitmer's chief of staff took the blame for that delayed response, saying she could have done a better job of answering questions about this trip with more clarity. For a closer look at the expenses of the governor's trip to Florida, you can head to our website, WXYZ.com. The FAA is investigating a near miss involving a Delta jet headed for Detroit. It happened at the San Diego International Airport. Officials there say the flight was preparing to take off at the same time a SkyWest flight was approaching the airport to land on the same runway. Air traffic controllers waved off SkyWest, averting a potential disaster. We're told the departure of that Detroit flight had been delayed by a mechanical issue just before that close call. It took off a little while later, and the SkyWest plane also landed safely. The Mega Millions jackpot will keep growing after nobody claimed last night's top prize. Let's take a look at those winning numbers. They are 3, 18, 41, 44, and 68. The Mega Ball number is 3. A million dollar ticket was sold in California matching all the numbers except the Mega Ball. The jackpot is up to $468 million for Tuesday's drawing. If you can't wait until then, you can get a ticket for tonight's Powerball lottery. That's worth still a lot, $183 million. Metro Detroit Muslims will continue to celebrate Eid this afternoon with a special religious festival. The fun gets underway at 2.30 at the Islamic Center of Detroit. It will include a free food giveaway to families in need. Eid al-Fitr, or the Festival of Breaking the Fast, ended Thursday and marks the end of Ramadan, a month of fasting from dawn till sunset. A local nonprofit is taking art out of the studio and into the city as part of Plymouth Art Walk. The virtual tour is set to get underway tonight at 5 o'clock. 7 Action News anchor Alicia Smith will be hosting the fundraiser. Tickets are $100 and include a limited edition paper print of the piece Holland by fine artist Tony Rocco. Money raised will benefit youth arts programs and the next phases of the Plymouth Art Walk. You can find more information on tonight's virtual grand opening at WXYZ.com. Time now, 10.07. There's a new terror advisory warning from the Department of Homeland Security. It warns of a heightened threat environment across the U.S. that became increasingly complex and volatile in 2021. The department says the threats include those posed by both foreign and domestic terrorists. DHS also warns that social media and online forums are increasingly being used to promote violent views and activity. 
The bulletin also says extremists may try to exploit the easing of COVID restrictions to attack more targets. China has successfully landed its rover on Mars, becoming the second country in history ever to do so behind the U.S. The rover landed on the Red Planet earlier this morning in a pre-selected area and will soon set out on a three-month mission in search of signs or evidence of ancient life on the planet's surface. The rover launched in July of last year and traveled for seven months before entering Mars, orbits, Mars orbit back in early February. Online sports betting is down here in Michigan. It took a hit last month for the first time since it launched back in January. According to Play Michigan, the group that tracks the state's online gambling operations, betting dropped below $250 million. That's a dive of just more than 30 percent. Play Michigan blames that dip on a seasonal slowdown. It also notes Michigan is still the quickest state in the country to reach $1 billion in online wagering from January 21st through April 30th. Let's check back in with Hallie for a look at this sunny Saturday. Hallie? Yes, we'll have sunshine for the morning, a few clouds for the afternoon, Jed, but our temperatures, that yes, says it all, low 70s, a gorgeous Saturday, a nice Sunday, but yeah, a few rain showers to track into full forecast. A lot to look forward to, thanks, Hallie. Still ahead, a deal with a shark. The connections one investor has that will help a local group of inventors after last night's Shark Tank episode. You're watching 7 Action News this morning. If you've been thinking about picking up a tennis racket or jumping on a stationary bike to get fit, the Franklin Athletic Club in Southfield is ready for you. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is at the Southfield Fitness Center right now. It's offering activities both inside and outside. She's given us a sneak peek. Jen, I am inside the Franklin Athletic Club right now, out here on the tennis courts. As you can see, they've got a few tennis courts on this portion of the club, and this is just a small section of their offerings when it comes to tennis. And I'm holding a bright orange ball because it is basically the beginners. It's ball. for the younger kids, yeah. Kids that are usually under 10 years old, just getting started. They, they, they bounce a lot less than a regular ball, so it makes it a little easier for you to hit, learn to hit the ball and get, start playing and have fun right away. Okay, cool. So I know I just have one hand, but uh, for a beginner like myself, what's the tip uh, in, in hitting? And I'm glad I have an easier ball now. Okay, uh, the tip in hitting is to get your racket back and be prepared. All right, so if you want to just toss it to me, I'll demonstrate. So you want to get okay. your racket back nice and early. Okay. As the ball comes in, you're going to take a little step forward and follow through over the net. Oh, wow. So if the ball's out in front of me a little bit more, I can step in okay. and make a nice follow through over the, up over the net. Okay, okay so you awesome. want to try it? Sure, okay, sure. Okay, so come on back so on the baseline. Can you see okay from there? You want to move around and uh, we can make my champion or maybe I can do a backhand. Okay, that's fine. Can I try yep. a backhand? I'm going to try a backhand. All right, because... slide back a little bit. With, you need two hands on your racket. Okay, all right. All right. I'm going to have to cheat. That's it fine. Bit. Here we go. Arm down a little bit lower. Okay. And as the ball comes, you're going to okay. take your racket back a little bit. Okay. Step in and follow through. Good. Try to move forwards when you hit the ball. Excellent. Good. One more. Follow through a little bit higher up in the air. All right. Excellent. Okay. One more. One more. One I got more. this. I'm going right, to hit here. this one. I'm going to get Backhand's this one. Backhand's a tougher shot okay. than the forehand. Okay. So. I know. Excellent. Ooh, all right. I hit it. I made contact. <laughs> but you're, you know, you're an expert at working with beginners. You've got some really talented kids we've seen out here. Um, but what is it you want people to know about the tennis programs you have? Um, you know, our, our tennis camp is a, very educational. We teach them the, the, all the basics of the game, footwork, stroke technique. We work on conditioning, strategy, but we also have fun. You know, the kids would get bored if you just hit, you know, stood there on the line and hit the ball all day long. So we make sure we're playing games that teach them like the proper moves and what to do oh, on the court. to like work on very specific skills. Exactly. Okay, do you have a really quick example of a game? Um, yeah, um, we play Beat the Champ a lot, where we put one person on the far side of the court and they come up in line, they drop and hit the ball over the net and play, rally it back and forth. Try to beat the champ. If they, if they beat them, they get to run over there and be the champ for the next game, so. I like it, I like it. Well, it looks like I probably have a little problem us to do. We've got some champs over there on the back court, as you can see. Um, incredible programs here, outdoor classes, indoor classes, camps, kicking off for kids and adults. We've got more information on our website at WXYZ.com. Back to you.